this is Karen Ryan with Long and Foster in Reston, Virginia. And I'm Brian Hope with Prosperity Home Mortgage. We're here today to give you another one of our updates. Um, we want to talk a little bit about the market and then specifically we want to talk today about renting versus buying and the options that there are for you. So Brian, right now it's May 5th and uh, we've seen a lot of just recent changes in the market as far as offers coming in. Um, there's been a little change in the area as far as, um, while inventory still remains low, we are seeing that instead of people coming in with these, you know, really high offers and um, way above list price and multiple offers, it's leveling out a little bit. It is, and I think that's, that's you know, a breath of fresh air yes, for definitely. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, it, it seems like it's a little more balanced at this point. So. Mm -hmm. You're right, we, we were seeing not only escalations, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars over, but we were seeing pretty much any contract that you, you wanted to get, a, you know, really one over multiple offers, you have to waive contingencies, right. right? You have to waive finance, you have to waive appraisal, you have to waive home inspection. That's really scary for it home is. buyers. And I think, especially for first time home buyers, they go, we, we really wanna make sure we get a home inspection. We wanna make sure that you know, we have an appraisal contingency to protect us if the value comes in low. Right. So those offers, you know, it, it's it, again, a breath of fresh air that we're seeing people mm -hmm. still have those contingencies and win these uh, these contracts in this market today. Right. And then, you know, we talk a lot with first time homeowners um, and also people who have been renting for a while. So we wanted to focus about that today because there's a lot of opportunities and we're seeing um, because of what's happened in the market and then also uh, during the time frame when everyone um, with COVID, rents really didn't go up that much. But now we're seeing from our clients rents instead of maybe going up $100, going up three, four. We even had one client recently, the rent went up $500. And so there's a lot of options. There's some misperceptions about um, what it costs to get into um, like say a condo, the condo market is actually pretty good in the area right now. Um, what you could get in from renting versus buying. And of course you have to do all the qualifications and everything too, but there are different products that would help people get in. Right? There, there are, and, and I, I think when I speak with first time home buyers or really any buyers that want to get out of that rental market into a, their own purchase, mm -hmm. I'm having those conversations and we walk through you know, where is your rent currently? When is your lease expiring? And, and what's your timeline? And I ha I'm hearing those stories of five or $600 a month more That's in rent. Mm -hmm. um, and, and although rates have increased over the last few months, it's not that drastic where you're gonna be paying five, six, seven hundred dollars $700 more right. in a mortgage. And so to your point, A, yes, there are a lot of first time home buyer programs mm -hmm. and Great low down programs. payment options mm -hmm. for clients that don't have the, the 20 or, you know, 15% down mm -hmm. uh, for a home. So, you know, you can get in as little as 5%. Right. You can get in as little as 0% down. And we've seen that time many times, yeah. Right, and, and again, going back to what we talked about in the first part of the segment, contracts are being won with low down payment. Mm -hmm. and, and, yep. and that's another, again, it's a great sign for, for home buyers to get out of that rent market, you know, save up what they can, right. whether it's five, 3%, or, or just enough money to cover the closing costs, they still have a really good chance of winning that offer. Sure. And you know, as Brian tells us all the time, you know, when you're renting, you know, some people there are options for renting, but when you are really looking at from a financial standpoint and wanting a home and investing in a home, you're putting money into the bank and you're putting money into your equity of your home. Let's say you're um, a single person and you've been renting and paying $3,000 a month and you decide you want to get in a two bedroom condo, you buy a condo, the condo rates are, uh, uh, the prices are pretty good right now, good opportunities. And you get in and you decide to get a roommate, well they pay half the mortgage right there for you. So you're seeing a lot of savings, um, as Brian says, to be able to get into that um, at products is really a good time frame. And, and the, the last thing I want to touch on, because this is something that all of my, my buyers are, are asking me off, off the, right off the gate, um, and that is interest rates. And that's right. a topic that you see all over social media, on the news, mm -hmm. you know, wherever you're looking, rates are on the rise. And while that is true, um, that, that's, that's even more of a reason to kind of get in early because nobody knows what's going to happen. Um, and, and anybody that says they know what's going to happen is, they is lying. They don't have a crystal ball. <laughs> um, uh, but, but we're kind of, you know, we're expecting, especially with the inflation issue, rates to probably continue hovering right around where they are, around 5 
and a quarter, mm-hmm. five and a half, they could rise as much as 6% by the end of the year. So, you know, it's important to get in as early as you can if you are in the right mindset and financial standpoint in your life to get into a home. Um, and, and the other really important message out there is we can give you whatever rate you want, right? So although the market rate could be five and a half or could be five and a quarter, you know, we could look at different options like adjustable rates, right. which, um, you know, or I locked somebody in right at like 4.1 the other day. That's great. Um, so more than a full percent than just a 30 year fixed. Um, or we could look at a 30 year fixed and buying down the rate with something called points, right? Mm-hmm. So somebody says, you know, I have 10% to put down and that's it. I may say, you know what, maybe we look at doing the 5% option and taking that extra one or 2% and putting it towards buying down the rate and that will significantly decrease their cost over the life of the loan. So there's a number of options that we can play with. Um, And so don't be too fearful of of rates going up, but you know, talk to a bank, talk to Karen, Mm -hmm. talk to us, we're here to help. Um, And even if that means just having a conversation, uh, we wanna wanna get you on that path. Uh, It's still a fantastic time to buy. Inventory's on the rise um, and, and it's a great time to get into a home. Yeah, and we would love to help you. Um, there's, um, it's, it doesn't cost anything just to explore the opportunity. Um, so really should look at it. Absolutely. We're here, and I'm Karen Ryan uh, Long Foster. And Brian Hope with Prosperity. And we'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Take care.